Hello and welcome to uh, American Amnesia. I'm Cliff Garner. And uh, there was a post that uh, they had made uh, on the 15th of uh, June 2002. That's been a little while back. And uh, it was uh, very uh, interesting and disturbing. I uh, wrote that on her, uh, on her post. I, I didn't post it myself although I will uh, produce the link for it uh, on the YouTube when I put it there, which should be in the next day or two. Now this is uh, from Veterans Today, and it's titled 9-11, A Decade Letter, A Whole New Ball Game. And, uh, and I'll uh, show the way it looks. Uh, okay, so you can see it. Um, and uh, she uh, sent me a whole bunch of other links, uh, most of which I pretty much know already. Uh, some of it I uh, agree with, and some of it I'm a little more skeptical. But this subtitle is uh, Reality and the Beliefs of the Military and Clandestine Community. It's written by a fellow named Gordon Duff, his senator editor of uh, Veterans Today. And uh, I'll read uh, I'll read this and uh, and uh, stop and make commentary from time to time. And I, I find it uh, rather rather uh, interesting and disturbing at the same time. Uh, any rate, uh, first of all, to the idiots who monitor all our communications, internet, telephone, uh, who knows what how far they have gone or are going, do not think there aren't lists of those who oppose this illegal effort and we'll see to it that you are indicted. If you believe the current form of government is going to be superseded by a corporate plutocracy, as in the Canadian TV show Continuum, find it, you are mistaken. The old power bases are gone, and too many have been burned. Playing spy as though you think the courts still f support FISA will get you some Gitmo time. Don't take my word for it, times are changing. Homeland Security, DHS, is strangling the efforts of several older institutions. This is beyond just turf war and is becoming an embarrassment. The machinery put together during Bush II is entirely dysfunctional, control of justice is gone, and in fact, under Holder, we're not sure it exists anymore. Only Homeland Security is still around and will be held accountable not for the passenger searches but for childish plots. Go ahead, bug the Pentagon, you won't like it. Well, let me stop very quickly here and mention a couple things. Uh, one of the things that uh, I see on here is that there are people, uh, evidently within uh, the uh, the uh, veteran community and uh, uh, within uh, the Pentagon itself, perhaps, and probably other uh, organizations. Uh, are resisting the trend that uh, is going towards an increasing, um, well, dictatorship. Uh, there's no other way to put it. And uh, this uh, is something that I've been mulling on for a long time now. Uh, uh, one of the things I've noticed with uh, Alex Jones is that he uh, uh, quite frequently has a uh, Pusenic, uh, what, what's his name? Pusenic, uh, the uh, fellow who uh, collaborated with Tom Clancy, uh, and he's a member of the CFR, a former CIA agent, and he keeps saying things along this lines. Now, this seems to me to be a very likely possibility that. Uh, there are a lot of uh, people within the system who may be part and par part of uh, the uh, the uh, pluralistic uh, elite, as it were, that have a different idea of how to take things in the future, and particularly in the U.S. of A. Uh, I have long thought that the the elite is not a monolith, that even though they agree on the one thing that uh, 
they should maintain their um, their wealth and their status and all the goodies that come with it that other than that they don't agree on much of anything uh, I think uh, the difference between uh, uh, Soros and the Koch brothers should tell you that uh, they don't agree where they should go as far as the politics are concerned but they do agree on that they should share the money uh, and they, they stab each other in the back quite often and and it seems to me that there is a another line going here and what this in, implies to me is that there are at least certain factions in the Pentagon who are uh, keeping clo a close eye on all of this and that they are perhaps going to take action sometime in the near future. What this could be in the uh, well, when it all washes out is a uh, military takeover, a military coup. This is not the first time such a thing has uh, been in the in the making and uh, uh, we came pretty close to it a few times in my lifetime. Uh, I think uh, to some extent what you're seeing with the, the evidence from the JFK assassination, that there was at least certain factions within the military-industrial complex that probably uh, collaborated with the uh, Mafia and had it done. Uh, so there's that, but there's others since. Uh, I think uh, it was... Uh, I can't remember the general's name, but there was a general who, uh, it was in the back pages, a very small article, but there was a general who moved to stop uh, Nixon from mobilizing troops to uh, effect a takeover himself, and that there were factions within the military that wanted to maintain the republic, and that they also were going to mobilize, and they stopped Nixon before he could do it. Uh, in fact, that's probably the role that... Uh, uh, Bob Woodward played. Uh, he was probably part of this group. Uh, there was a book, uh, Silent Coup, uh, that he had. Uh, he doesn't go there, but the, the general that wrote, that did that, and uh, and all, he he did write a book on uh, groups like the CFR and stuff like that. Uh, I, like I said, I forget his name, but he he did a very important thing apparently. Uh, there, there were. There were rumors of it uh, with, with Reagan to keep him in power. And so, so this uh, this is not an alien concept in the U.S. It's just something that doesn't make the news. It, it's something that uh, is not generally thought about. You know, we go about our lives and uh, you know just totally oblivious to what's going around us. Okay, so well, I'll go forward with the article. Here's where things stand on 9/11 today. The official accepted belief on the towers is that the two were destroyed by four small nuclear devices, two in the basement, two on upper floors, that produce over a million degrees of heat that dissolve the building, put out minor radiation for a short distance, and kept fires burning for months. It vaporized enough steel to build three huge aircraft carriers and huge beams hundreds of yards away to show damage than, than anything in Hiroshima. Uh, the uh, the editing, by the way, is not uh, all that good, uh, and he makes frequent mistakes. Uh, anyway, uh, it, da, da, da. this is the official opinion of DARPA and the U.S. Army. This is highly classified, but I am printing it anyway. Building Seven is said to have been destroyed with conventional explosives. So, well, it was just decide it was probably a controlled demolition and uh, there was a, a lot of uh, important paperwork lost for um, the uh, uh, SEC the, which probably had some effect on uh, uh, the uh, nine, uh, 2008 uh, meltdown of the economy worldwide uh, going back uh, no official secret finding has been reached on the Pentagon attack other than the wreckage from a Columbia crash in 1995 was dumped on the lawn and the site was altered during the day to si simulate an air crash. I have not been given access to anything beyond this and choose not to make something up. Um, I'm going to have to break just because of uh, time limitations on uh, YouTube. But uh, I'm going to take this up uh, right at this spot.
for the next one. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs>